Alrighty guys, welcome to your fifth tutorial and in this video what I want to do is I want to just start styling the basic headings, all the easy stuff before we get into some more advanced stuff. So I'm going to be styling these heading first. Uh, these are actually the heading twos and that's just the red thing that says my profile and two column layout. I think uh, on the YouTube video they look pretty weird, but actually in real life they look pretty freaking sweet. So the first thing we want to do is say in the footer all heading twos and you want to do this because your heading twos on your main website are generally going to be a little bit different but this is uh, how I style mine the font weight is normal because by default all headings are bold now the font size is 14 pixels now the default font size for the footer is going to be 12 pixels and of course you want the headings a little bit bigger generally so you know there you go now for the text decoration I'm just gonna set those to underline and for the color the color I chose is CC 0 0 0 0 and that is that red color that you see right here in my profile and I chose that not because it looks good in the background but because my social network those are the colors of the headings on the website so it's a good idea to match it then you have the same theme for your footer in your website now the margin top for the headings is 10 pixels now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set the margin bottom I'm gonna set that to 5 where are you at five five pixels and the margin left is 10 pixels so 10 5 10 with top bottom and left so that's your heading two and again all those margins it just gives you a little bit of space so you know the text above and below and also it isn't butted up against you know above below or to the left of it you really don't need anything any margin on the right hand side because unless you know you're going you're floating it to the right or anything it's not really going to be an issue now after this I want to start styling the paragraphs so in your footer all paragraphs are going to be first of all white now the reason that you need white is because generally your background is going to be very light and if you have the default text color which is black on this it's basically impossible to read so black text on a kind of dark background ain't happening so as you can see it's very easy to read whenever you have white text just like that so the color is white the font size is 12 let's go ahead and steal some of this font size is 12 now for the paragraph we actually want to float these to the left and the reason that we want to do this is because whenever we are writing several paragraphs it, well you're gonna see later on whenever I piece everything together but for now float your paragraphs to the left and now the only other two elements that you need are padding zero pixels and ten pixels now whenever you have two numbers in your padding then what this means is the top and bottom are 0 and the left and right are 10 if you just had 10 then it would mean the top bottom left right it's 10 all around But whenever you have two values in either padding or margin then the first value is for top and bottom and the second one is for left and right so now let me go ahead and copy this and change this one to margin now my margin is going to be just the opposite of this 10 pixels it's going to have a margin let me go ahead and write this first now the paragraphs are gonna have a top and bottom margin of 10 pixels and a left and right margin of 0 so this is actually the best way to set up your paragraphs and it gives it nice room above below and to the left and to the right and uh, well that's how I set up my paragraphs it's super easy to read and it fits super nicely in your footer so after this I guess what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna style the image and then it's gonna take like two seconds and then we're gonna start styling the individual buttons so even though these aren't you know there's no button element actually well okay I take that back 
these are actually some people call them tabs some people call them buttons some people call them elements but the thing that says account profile columns programs that's where we're going to be styling in the upcoming tutorial so I'll see you guys then